Hello and welcome to the uh, Love Swim Workshop. Now, uh, this particular video uh, was originally filmed back in 2006, 2007. And the project that we took on at this time was to actually have a go at hand carving the longest love spoon in the world. Now it was the largest project we've ever taken on in terms of the size of the spoon but also in the time that it took us to make. So we hope you'll enjoy um, seeing how that project actually unfolded and uh, we've actually left in some of the original commentary as well so hopefully that'll give you an idea of how um, this project was actually completed. A little bit more scope. We have the right size bench, so Dave is planing it up with an ordinary jack plane. But I thought he might be of interest because we're also using this uh, very old fashioned, almost looks like a Norris plane. Um, it's actually a slater, and uh, we're using that. It's a little bit shorter, and um, it's a bit uh, easier to get up uh, the, the, uh, the, the finish. So we're, we're using those two planes to give us a, f a good finish. So what you've seen so far is us actually preparing the wood, getting it ready for making the longest hand carved love spoon from. You've also got to do all of your drawings. All of our drawings, uh, they are hand drawn uh, on paper um, itself. And then to transfer those paper drawings onto the wood, we use carbon paper. As you can see, it's a question of cutting, cutting down here, down here, and drill out then a hole there and do the same then for, for the other links. Just to experiment to see if, if I can actually cut out the links then, okay? Here we are. Right, now, I'm chilling out now along here and then what I'm going to have to do is um, I need to drill a hole down there so for the at heart, we just drill a hole through there. We're just checking all the time. That's gone through, so we're okay. So I have to cut all the way down there, same there. And then work my way in through very, very quietly at the start. I'm going to try it in there, and then I'm going to have to use this other one as well. This will help once I've taken the, once I got started with the coping saw. I can then pop that blade in there, pop that one out. As you can see, I'm just using this little pan saw just to cut. Done to form one of the links. Now the uh, foundation of this particular project was the use of links and in total for hand carving the longest lesson in the world we used seven individual links. Now we hand carved these first and there's a reason for that is basically the thing that is most likely that could have gone wrong in this particular project so by dealing with the links first, it meant that if something had have gone wrong, which you will see in this video did go wrong, it allows you to then adapt and still complete the project. So that is what we basically focused our attention on first, is hand carving all of the links. So as we mentioned, uh, here is that moment. This is actually where um, the project goes wrong and it, it very much sort of almost throws the project into a little mini crisis. Uh, basically it was the only occasion that we used a power tool. We tried to use a router to take away some of the bulk of the wood um, in and around the link to, to just speed it up, to reduce some of the pushing that we're actually doing because there's a lot of pushing and cutting involved. But unfortunately, um, as you can see on screen, it split the link. Um, there's a, two reasons for that. Firstly, it's the vibration of the router, but also when wood dries out, it naturally will open up and at the end uh, of that particular piece of wood, splits had opened up and that, that caused um, the link to break. 
So we're really uh, very much in a sort of moment of crisis. Um, what do we do? Um, you can see there are other knots as well um, in the design, but those you can sort of work around, that sort of thing. So what are we going to do? So here we are, we're going to explain now what we'll do. I'm going to cut a new link here. It's going to reduce the length of the spoon down by a couple of feet, but um, I'm not worried about that because I'll be much happier with, with a stronger link. So that is what we did. We marked out a new link further in the wood and that allowed the project to continue. Now that we have managed to overcome our little mini crisis, uh, the project is really in full swing. And as you can see, we're really um, focusing our attention on all of those individual carvings. Now, um, in total, the entire project took us 300 hours to complete. And a lot of that time was doing all of these individual carvings, all these different bits of detail. Um, and it's a really nice process. And in this particular case, the piece of wood that we were working with was large enough to allow both myself and dad to work on the project at the same time. And that's a really nice thing for us to be able to do that because normally when we're working on a love spoon, the wood is too small. We'd be getting in one another's way as we're working. But this project, because of the large nature of it, we were able to both get on the bench and start carving together. For those of you who are familiar with our work here at the Love Spoon Workshop, you will be aware that we always put a story behind our work. And the longest Love Spoon was no exception. It was based upon a theme of life's journey. And all the little carvings relate to different stories and incidents that have happened in and around the Love Spoon Workshop and in our own lives uh, since we started doing Love Spoons back in 1969. Now, um, what you can also see then on screen is us working on the bowl of the love spoon. Probably one of the largest bowls that we've worked on because it is, of course, the longest hand card love spoon. You can see Dad as well working with the hand saw. And what he's actually doing there is to free the different lengths of the panels, which will eventually be opened out and allow us to form the longest hand-carved love spoon in the world. So at this stage we were aware that we had successfully managed to make the longest hand carved love spoon in the world. So a fantastic moment for us all. But we were also aware that there was still a number of hours left working with things like the spoke shave and sandpapers and shellacking the love spoon, really putting those finishing touches to it. first coat of uh, sealer on and I'm just rubbing down now, a bit of fine sandpaper and uh, rub it all down. So there you have it. That is how we managed to hand carve the longest love spoon in the world here at the Love Spoon Workshop. Now the completed love spoon, it is around about 30 feet long. It was carved from a piece of oak. The oak actually came from the Gwine Valley, which is up in the north of Pembrokeshire. We got it from an organisation known as Coy Cymru, Welsh Wood. And they're an organisation uh, that we like because we know if they cut a tree down, they plant a replacement. So we also know that in keeping with what we do with all of our wood here at the Love Swim Workshop, it is from a sustainable source. This was a lovely project for us to take on. Uh, it showed how you can use a link to make a piece of wood longer. 
and the end result was the longest hand-carved love spoon in the world. We hope you enjoyed seeing how that love spoon was made. We'll be back soon with more videos and feel free to like, comment and subscribe. But thank you again all for watching.